Darius, do you ever rest? Ha! <laughs> after Macedonia, after the Huntsman, nowhere in the Greek world will ever be safe. Not for us. We can never rest. We can never stop running. The Order have your scent and mine. If you stay still for too long... Natakas dies. All we can do is keep moving. Even if all I want is to stay. I don't see Natakas. That's why I sent the note. Trouble? We came to Achaea seeking a ship bound for distant shores. A simple plan, but like so many simple plans... It got complicated. That fleet is bound for Patre. It's not the first. Something there is not right. Relentless military patrols, naval blockades. Natakas went to secure us a boat out, but he hasn't returned. You must have some idea about what happened to Natakas. He's smart, knows to keep to the shadows. With this much military power stationed in Achaea, he's more likely hiding than... He's out there, Darius. What do you think is going on here? Something big. Natakas may have learned more about what's happening there. It could be the Order. All the more reason to find him. Natakas won't be hard to find. He took that road to Patre. Then that's where we start. Follow me. Ooh. I've done it from higher. Hey! Hey, you! You on the roof! Yes? That's not your roof! You're right. Follow me! Something happened to Natakas between here and Patre. We must find him. We will, Darius. We will. After Macedonia, but before Achaea, what were you and Atakas doing? Surviving. Mm. Sounds boring. You were hoping I would entertain you with grand tales from my legendary adventures? Well... Yes. We've kept to the shadows, stayed away from people. Dahl is safe, Cassandra. Adventure is not. Ugh. And the bad spirit. Come on. <laughs> uh, heavy armor and blood, but no body. Natakas must have been in a hurry to leave such a mess. These weapons belong to a soldier, not Natakas. Keep looking. There is, there is no sign of Natakas. Just supplies and military equipment. He's staying out of sight. Good. Cassandra, over here. A path leading up to the mountains. Let's go. Let's go. So sure Natakas went this way. Sometimes you have to look further and think harder. There were guards at the bridge. Didn't you see? It was too exposed. Natakas would know better. <laughs> Searching for something. Look at their body language. They want blood. They'll get it. We need a plan. If Natakas is hiding here, he could be drawn into heavy battle. If we move quietly, we can pick off the guards one by one. A wise plan, Eagle Bearer. Clear the perimeter. Quietly. 
Be fast, be silent. I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. Quiet, you can bear. You take that one. Couldn't have gone I'll take this one. Hey, this kid's mine. Right. This is That noise is annoying. Cassandra. Told you we'd meet again. Trust me, I said. It must be hard for you being right all the time. It's a burden I do my best to bear. Well, I'm glad to see you, Cassandra. And I'm glad to see you. When I heard you might be in trouble... You jumped on your horse and raced to the rescue? I'm not sure you needed rescuing. Still. My son. <clears throat> There's something else. We need to find my mother. There are still people who need our help. People who have been stranded in Archea. The soldiers took them to a fort, not far from here. I'll go there now. More soldiers could come looking. If we leave the bodies out here, it may attract unwanted attention. I'll gather the others while you hide the bodies. The stranded people are at the fort, on top of the cliff. Return safely. Bring my mother back to me, please! Run! The others are down the mountain. Asking me stupid questions and let me be caged in peace. Why you? Get to the bottom of the mountain. There's people there. I miss this. Thank you.
We've been in a hair too long. The order will catch up with us soon. People need our help. <laughs> Mother! My child! You're safe! Thank Zeus! Cassandra, you're back. You're the Mystios who saved us. Thank you. I'm Cleta. I'm sheltering the stranded in Vura, a village not far from here. I've been in Achea for a long time, but something has changed. A dangerous presence is closing in. What do you know? Everyone in Achea knows the Tempest. She's the most ruthless commander to ever sail the Aegeon. No one's faced her and lived. And her rage. Poseidon himself fears her. I house those who can't escape the Tempest's wrath in my village. But I can't stay here forever. The harbor is closed. Soldiers are combing the area looking. I'm working on a plan to get them out of Achaea. If you can help, Mistios, come find me in Vura. She knows more than she's saying. It doesn't matter. The Order is here. Amorgus and the rest will not forgive our actions in Macedonia. Amorgus will not forget the Huntsman's death at the hand of a Tainted One. His cunning is sharper than any blade. He may already be here, observing us, learning from our movements, from our choices, discovering our weaknesses. The stranded people come from both foreign lands and all over the Greek world. Merchants, farmers, sailors, families. They're being imprisoned and interrogated. They're being asked about Macedonia. These people are suffering because the Order is looking for us. These people need our help. We have to do something. Isn't this what we're fighting for? Aren't they worth the risk? We can't save them. Not if the Tempest is still strong. We need to hit her hard. It's the only way to get the stranded people home. We should get started. Where will you start? Patre is overflowing with the Tempest forces. I'll look for leads there about the closed harbor. And maybe more about the Tempest herself. That woman, Clita. There's more to the Tempest tale than she's telling, but she needs help. The people in Bura need help. They could do with someone like you. Then I'll pay her a visit. Your father sure knows how to make an exit. Where did he go? <laughs> He's been following up on some leads in Patre. Look for him in the hull of a ship near the Patre Harbor. He's made a small hideout there. Against the three of us, the Tempest doesn't stand a chance. We'll break her? And then, you'll be free to leave the Greek world forever. I'll go to the harbor and track down the Tempest. She can't be the only Order member in Achaea. I'll keep an eye out for the others. See you soon, Cassandra. You will. Find Tharius and attack us in Patre, or I could look for Cleta in Bura. Here, Cleta. Mistyos, you came. Thanks to you, these people are safe. Call me Cassandra. <laughs> Looks like the stranded people are settling in well. Resources are scarce, but we make do with what we have. These people have nowhere to go. Maroon. Alone. Far from home. I try to provide them a little bit of comfort. It's normal to be uncomfortable. 
better even. That's a principle of Spartan training. It's how they become such fierce warriors. You remind me of my daughter. She was always aspiring to be better, to be great. <laughs> We all have things about ourselves that could be improved. These people will have to be their best selves if they're going to escape the Tempest. Her forces are monitoring the ships in and out of Achaea, and their control over the island is growing stronger every day. We need to get them out of here. Will you help me, Cassandra? I'll help. What do I need to do? Leaving Achaea is not going to be easy, but I've spoken to a few of the Stranded and we've come up with a plan. Find Dorondas. He's overlooking the fields. He'll have more information about this. Ah, Amistios. Tell me, is there anything more beautiful than this? The calm, the peace, the comfort of a simple life. The life of a mercenary is the life I want to live. I like to keep busy. In that case, welcome to Vora. What brings you to Achaea? I've traveled across many seas, Mistias. The blockade paused my journey as a merchant, but Kleta gave me a place to stay. When you've been through as much as I have, when you've weathered the most horrific and turbulent storms, you start to appreciate the simple joys in life. Like Vora. A place I could call home. I fear these quiet times won't last. I've lived in chaos. I can show you a trick or two. I'm all ears. Kleta sent me to you. She said you lost your ships. Indeed. We're in troubling times, Mistios. Achaea is growing more dangerous by the day. And we need to escape while we can. I've discussed the plan at length with Kleta. Keep looking! Guards. They've upped their patrols. I caught their attention at the fort. They're looking for more stranded. We mustn't let them disrupt our peace, Mistios. Deal with them quietly if you can. I'll get Kleta and the rest to higher ground. Stop them before they get to the village. Another one. Be careful. Remember what happened at the fort. Home all the... Thank you, Cassandra. 
I... I knew they were on the move, but I didn't think it would be so soon. We need to set our plan in motion. Tell me what needs to be done. We need a mode of transport across the Aegean. The ships we came in were taken when we arrived in Vora by the foremen of the docks. Perhaps we can strike a deal with the foreman to get them back. I have the time to help you now. In that case, we should bring you up to speed on the foreman situation. I'm listening. She's quite a character. I've heard rumors that he frequents a tavern in Bellini and drinks as if to endlessly worship Dionysos. Word is, he doesn't take well to mercenaries. I can get people to like me. I'm sure you have your ways, Mistyas. My daughter. She always loved the water. As a girl, she always wanted to steer when we rode out to sea. As she got older... I've never stopped wondering if she will come back to me. Tell me more about your daughter. As a child, she was unusually strong. People would say her goals and ambition soared far beyond the norm. Her strength wasn't the only thing. <laughs> Her temper matched that of Poseidon in a storm. Do you have any idea where your daughter went? She left without a word. Every day I yearned for her return. I sometimes think I've lost her for good. There must be a reason why you're telling me about your daughter. My Phil... She captains the Skilla now. Your daughter is the Tempest? It's been years since I've heard from her. I, I... I pushed her too much, too far. And now it feels like I've pushed her away forever. She's an adult now. She makes her own choices. Don't blame yourself. Now isn't the time to dwell on the past. Orondas needs our help. I'll go to Bellini and make myself useful. Here, Cassandra. I should get to Bellini. The man we're looking for, Mistyos. Hare! Hare, my friend! <laughs> well, I, I recognize you. I took your ships, didn't I? At the docks! <laughs> We've come to get those ships back. Why would be my first question. <laughs> but then I realized I don't really care. <laughs> because you're a Mistyos! <laughs> Let Bygones be bygones, my friend. We drink! Except for the mercenary. Now, sail away from me! <laughs> All right, you can't. <laughs> mm. I think we got off on the wrong foot. I'm sure a smart man like you knows when to make a useful friend. If you help me... I'll help you. Helping you would cost more than my left arm. If I am to risk incurring the Tempest's wrath, there should be a sizable benefit for me. I heard valuables can be found at Shipwreck Cove, not far from here. Or I could always use more Drachmi. Hmm? You can buy wine with Drachmi. I'll take a look around Shipwreck Cove for the valuables. Remember, Mistyos, I don't take trash!
Who's whistling over there? Dylan Vani Horan. have the valuables I want. I found what you wanted at Shipwreck Cove. Ha ha ha! Splendid! Hand it over. This will do. A deal's a deal. I never go back on my word. Only a dishonorable Malakas will break an oath. I'll give you your ships back. But good luck getting past the Tempest. Just take a good look outside at all those wrecks, Mistios. Now, if you'll excuse me. Thanks to you, Mistios, we have what we need. Now, we... Horondas! Cassandra! No need for bloodshed. I just need you to come quietly, please. Releasing the stranded people has angered the Tempest. Someone just needs to take responsibility and everyone will be fine. Take me, then. They have nothing to do with this. I'm the one you're after. We have done enough. There's no need to escalate this further. Promise me that you will see our plan through to the end. This destruction, all this ruin, it's painful to watch. It feels like she's becoming someone I don't know. No matter what happens, blood is blood. She's still your daughter. Parents always believe in their children, as foolish as that may be. I should have stopped her sooner, stopped her from joining the Order. I should have. When the time comes to face the Tempest, I feel like... What will you do, Cassandra? I'll do my best to bring her back. I was so proud of her. I don't think I ever told her that. There are still so many things I wish I had said. I should go help the rest. We'll meet up in Patre when we're ready. Thank you, Cassandra. For everything. Look. A weapons demonstration. Expecting you, Tempest. My weapons, Lieutenant. Where are they? They're installed, but not tested. Fire them. But it's not stable. Fire them. 
you stay here. Yes, uh, Admiral. The skiller awaits my return, but first I will inspect your work in the shipyards and see what else you idiots have managed to mess up. Move! The Tempest. This won't be easy, especially if they get that weapon to work. I couldn't even get it to work properly. It's only a matter of time before they succeed. We need to do something. Sounds like you have a plan. We need to go after her. If we can end things here, we're all the better for it. We need to catch her. Let's go to the shipyard. It's not too far. Come on. The shipyard. The Tempest will be easier to find if we split up. The woman in charge. Do you know her? I... I don't know anything. Please leave me alone. Something doesn't feel right. The woman who came by here... Where is she? She left. I hope. Poseidon, save us. Something is out there. Or someone. I'm looking for the woman who runs this place. The weapon is not ready. It's not. It's... <laughs> Someone is following me. Nice weather today. I like boats. I've done nothing wrong! Have you seen the woman in charge here? Don't let them hear you. There are eyes and ears everywhere. didn't find the Tempest. I found this. The Order suspects we're in Achea. They've tasked the Tempest with capturing us. We walked into a trap. Father, he'll need to hear about this. Quickly! We're being followed. No, we're being hunted. There, that warehouse. I'll draw their attention and hide. You can take it from there. Yes. Cause a scene and head to the warehouse. I'll stay back and see how many there are before making a move. Are you ready? How could you? I love you, you monster! Don't come near me! Just in time. It's over. the Tempest is. What's her plan? <laughs> She's building a weapon to be installed on her ship. The Skilla. 
and she's locked down all of Achea to trap you, Eagle Bearer. There's nowhere left to run. The Skilla will blow you out of the water. Her fleet will crush you! <laughs> <laughs> You'll never defeat her. Go. I'll see your father first, then meet you at the ship hideout. <gasps> if the Tempest is looking for us, then destroying her fleet should get her attention. Getting ready for something? Good. You're finally here. You mentioned something big is about to happen in Achaea. I've heard that the Tempest chief engineer is developing a new weapon. Natakas and I saw her try the weapon at the docks. It's not working yet, but it will be a problem when it does. He's trying to flee Achaea. If he does want to escape, maybe we can convince him to help us defeat the Tempest. He's attending the shipbuilding symposium at the amphitheater here in Achaea. I can head over to the amphitheater now. There seems to be a discussion about a plan, a secret weapon for the Tempest. The chief engineer should have more information about it. Sounds easy enough. The answer to the code word, I am Poseidon's chosen. <laughs> sure. The chief engineer is amongst the attendees. Seek him out. That blade means a lot to you. Where does it come from? I forged it myself, but it's more than a blade to me. It's a choice. It takes skill to get so close to a target. <laughs> That's the point. What do you know about the Tempest? She must have been planted by Amorgus. I'm not familiar with the Tempest, but I wouldn't put anything past Amorgus. He's only ever had one thing on his mind. Lasting prosperity for Persia. No matter the price. What convinced you to help the stranded people, Darius? Uh, Natakis's heart is in the right place, and I want to encourage that. But the moment we're done, we're leaving the Greek world for good. I'll head to the amphitheater now and find the chief engineer. The chief engineer is here, but I don't know exactly who it is. It should be easy. The code word is, I am Poseidon's chosen. This looks like the place Darius mentioned. <gasps> I am Poseidon's chosen. Right. And I'm Ira's harlot. What? What do you mean, what? Go away. I'm trying to pay attention here. I am Poseidon's... Idiot. What? You're not his chosen, you're his idiot. I could hear you from here, pestering people. Who told you about me? Lucky for you, the gods have sent me to solve your problems. I heard you wish to flee a hair? Uh, I don't know about gods, but your spies seem fairly well informed. Yes, fairly. Well, if the Tempest had sent you, I'd be dead by now. I need a way to defeat her. Like this weapon I talked about. The Chimera's breath. My greatest creation, but also my greatest regret. I left before they could force me to complete it. Without my finishing touches, it will never work as intended. Tell me more about this secret weapon. What does it do? 
It's meant to engulf enemy ships in a torrent of flames. And it works extremely well. Installation is the tricky part, though. If done incorrectly, it backfires. Horribly. You worked with the Tempest. What can you tell me about her? She's a ruthless, emotionless creature. But the scariest part about her is her strategic brilliance. You'd be hard-pressed to find a more perfect commander. You said you want out over here. Do you have a plan? The only way out is through the Tempest. Trust me, I've exhausted every other option I can think of. That's my wife up there. And now I've put her life at risk, too. You're taking a big risk by sharing your secrets with me. No. I'm betting on you to destroy the Tempest for me. Get your hands on the plans, and I can install the Himera's breath on your ship. With it, you can destroy her entire fleet. I must do something to right this wrong. If the Himera's breath is as powerful as you say it is, it would be helpful. Once I'm done with your ship, it will crush the Skilla. So, how do I get the plans? The Tempest's fleet commander has them. He's manning the naval blockade. While you're gone, I'll get to work. The plans are written in a code that only I can read. So even when we have them, it'll take some time. I'll meet you back here when I'm done. Good. I was wondering how we could clear the blockade. I'll take care of... to head back to the amphitheater. Look, boys! First the runaway engineer, and now the eagle bearer. Aren't we lucky? <laughs> lucky isn't the word I'd use. Oh, look who decided to show up just in time. Kill them! Kill them both! The Tempest is more shrewd and careful than we expected. We should warn the others. They might be in danger, too. I'll have Arnavas take a look at the plans. In any case, we shouldn't linger here. Back to the shadows, then. I should find Atakas. 
father almost killed her when they first met. If I hadn't stopped them... Really? Who do you think... Good. We're all here. We've done everything we set out to. Now, to get the stranded people out of Achea. The Tempest is on her way to install the Chimera's breath on the Skila. But we have the Chimera's breath now. The Tempest will never know what hit her. Without the Chimera's breath, she doesn't stand a chance. I am Poseidon's chosen, after all. What? We'll surprise the Tempest. Varnavas and I will launch a sea attack. Using the Chimera's breath to disable the Skila will be our best chance to get everyone off the coast. The merchant ships? The destruction should buy time for them to leave. Natakis and I will make sure everyone is on board the ships. This is our chance to leave Achaea. Darius is right, Natakas. You should be on those ships. Both of you. They're your way out. What do you think, Natakas? It's our only chance. You have to take it. We will. We'll need somewhere to stay until then. Somewhere that won't raise suspicion. I know just the place. A house on the hill near Dime. Let's go there now. Look at this place. It belonged to a friend of mine. He tried getting out of our hair, but he didn't make it. I need to prepare the others. See you too soon. There's something about this place. It's nothing special. I like it. It's peaceful. Too bad we won't stay. So, what's next? We'll probably keep running, as always. At least there's wine. At least there's wine. That's how I grew up. <laughs> Ooh, but seriously, your father is a very capable man. He is, but emotionally he is hard to open up. It's hard to make friends for people like us, living on the move as we do. Oh, we've met each other. To our friendship. To our friendship. <laughs> Malaka. Malaka. This reminds me of when we met in Macedonia. We ate boar beneath the stars. It was the first time in a long time that I felt home. I haven't felt that since. Until tonight. Then let's make the most of it. I should find Darius and the others. The stranded people are probably at the docks already. Probably the last I'll ever see of them. The last time I saw my Phil, we were arguing. We always did. I wish I'd told her how much she meant to me, how proud of her I was. 
Now that she's back, I'm scared I won't recognize her. Real connections with people are rare, Cassandra. We shouldn't be too quick to let them go. I'm a Mystios. I can't afford connections. Captain! Hey! Captain! What's going on? A massive fleet has gathered nearby. They seem to be waiting for something, but we don't know what. The Tempest. This ship. These people. She knows. Somehow she knows. They're going to kill us all in one swift blow. We won't be destroyed. I'll sink every last ship. How? Arnavas, ready the ship for battle. And the Himera's breath. It isn't ready yet. We haven't even finished assembling it. I'll need... We'll start without it. Keep working. I... Latakis and I can handle things here. Good luck, Cassandra. Okay. You need help. You need... Oh! I don't need anything. Tempest! Neither of us has to die. You! Amorgus told me all about the Tainted Ones. It is not your fault you were born as you are, but it is your fate to die like the rest. I will do what the Order needs done. Fila! <gasps> you! What are you doing here? There's so much I want to say, so many things. Please, give me a chance. You had your chance. You had years! I had to protect you. I was drowning. Who do you think pulled me out? You? The Order is my family. You are just a memory. My past. You'll never be one of them. You're a tainted one, Fila. What? I know what I am. Amorgus gave me purpose, guided me. I'm no monster. I am the Tempest. You don't have to prove anything to anyone, Fila. You don't have to be the Tempest. 
You can just be you. That's enough. Can't you see that? No. We might be tainted ones, but that doesn't make us who we are. No. I control my fate. I control my future! Please, Fila. Let's just talk, you and me. Forget everything here. Come with us. She needs you, Cleta. Please! You still have family! You, you still have me! <gasps> Mate! This is not your fault, Eagle Bearer! Your fault! I'll carve you from the face of this world! Face me! Your mission, Tempest! It's the will of Amorgus! We are not your enemies, Vila. The Order think they can control you, that you are nothing more than an instrument who kills on command. Be more than that. Don't let them take away your humanity. Stand and fight! Please don't die. I have... There's still so much I need to say. You are my daughter, V. I have always been... So... Cassandra... No life for us. Only death. <sighs> I always knew it would end like this. Father, the waters are open. We should get out while we still can. At least they're together now.
Terrace and attackers will be leaving soon. I should see them before they go. Terrace and attackers should be safe now. The Greek world can cause them no more pain. They can finally leave safely. It's a good thing. You once told me of a dream you had, a simpler life, a small stall in the Agora, fishing with your son. I remember. Are you going to do it? I'm like you, Darius. Never could sit still for too long. Sailing with or without you. It's now or never. Cassandra. Darius. So, this is it. This is it. I left you a letter, Cassandra. Said everything we couldn't. It's in Rime, in the house. Look for the wine! I always do. Takas and Darius are gone, and I... Why didn't I say something? Natakas left a letter for me at the house in Dime. I'm not sure I'm ready to read it. It's so quiet. This place was filled with laughter once. Maybe once was enough. Natakas's letter. At least there's wine. At least there's wine. Real connections with people are rare, Cassandra. We shouldn't be too quick to let them go.
wonder if Darius has kept watch all night. Better say good morning. You really don't sleep, do you? The soft kiss of the breeze. The smell of the ocean. Why should I sleep? I'd miss it, Cassandra. I'd miss all of it. The hungriest warrior in the Greek world has ravaged our milk and bread supplies again. Typical Spartan stomach. His appetite may consume us all. More milk and bread it is, then. I'll go by the usual. Double. But here. I was supposed to pass these to the merchant, but I got carried away with the, uh... He has that effect on people. I'll deliver this for us and, uh, buy double the usual. The Agora should already be open. Be home soon. Milk and bread coming right up. Cassandra! How's my favorite customer? Tired. Hungry and tired. Ah, uh, it was the same for me. Enjoy these years. I will. I, I am. Anyway, here's what Darius owes you. We'll need double the usual. Milk and bread, please. Ah, uh, about the bread. I ran out of wheat. I was supposed to fetch some from the farmer down the road. Perhaps you could help me with that. For my favorite merchant, anything. Thank you, Cassandra. I'll be back from the farm soon. It's not too far away. Oh, uh, no thanks. Ugh. How could this fish be so stale? We live by the sea. <laughs> the wheat farm isn't far. This will be quick. When's Elpidios visiting me? <laughs> soon enough. The merchant sent me to pick up his wheat. Excellent. It's right there by the fence. Here you go. Your wheat. I'll make the bread right away. Can't leave my favorite customer waiting. Here you go. Bread fresh from the oven and milk straight from the goat. I'll see you sooner than I'd like to. This stuff won't last long. Sometimes I think Elpidios keeps my whole business running. <laughs> <laughs> it's very possible. Milk and bread. Check. Better get this home. <sighs> Thinly. A place even a mysterious can call home.
was my Elpidios? How's my son? <laughs> he missed his mater. And she missed him. Promise me, Cassandra. This is our life. This is our home. Do you remember Macedonia? Of course. Walls of dust and flame, the huntsmen. I remember you, Matakas. Only you. Home isn't a place, it's people. It's us. As long as we're together, we're home. You know, Elpidios, that's where your mother grew up, Kefalonia. Right there. But it wasn't until I came here, until I met you, that I truly felt home. Cleta and Fila on the beach that day, they couldn't escape their fate. It always ends in blood. My family ran for so long, but maybe some things can't be outrun. We never know what's coming next. All we can do is what we believe is right, and deal with the consequences. This fight we have with the Order, this war, it's not going to be won in my lifetime. Or yours. Maybe I was foolish to think it could be. But fate does not define us. Our actions do. Our little Leonida spoke his first word today. What? I didn't hear. That's not possible. What did he say? Grand Pater. Or maybe he burped. It's hard to tell at his age. <laughs> <laughs> Who's my genius grandson? Who's just like his Grand Pater, Darius. Is there anything more beautiful than this? A simple life. Get word to Persia. Send the fleet. Send everyone. By your command, Amorius. I'll see you soon, old friend. Island anytime soon, but. But you do all right. I do all right. How are you? We've been doing well. The people are all friendly, and even Father has been socializing. Really? Yes. It's been interesting watching him interact with the villagers. <laughs> it's taken him a while, but he's more relaxed. This place is good for him. Does a Mistios make a good living? We do all right. I won't own an island anytime soon, but... But you do all right. I do all right. You're doing great with Elpidios. We miss you when you're not here. Has anyone come to bother you while I've been gone? No one father and I can't handle. Maybe we should move someplace... safer. No, Cassandra. This is where we belong now. I will not let Elpidios live his life on the road like I did. Okay. How are you? We've been doing well. 